Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today in video number 3 of our LA 23 series, we drive south through Plaquemines Parish beginning at Louisiana Highway 1261. LA 1261 will eventually cross the Intracoastal Canal and tie in with Peters Road and Engineers Road, providing an additional way in and out of Plaquemines Parish. We're in an area marked on the map as Oakville. Oakville is a historic African-American community of several hundred residents. Freed slaves from nearby plantations that spread along the Mississippi River established this Plaquemines Parish community in the 1860s. Many of Oakville's present residents can trace their ancestry to those who first lived there. We enter the community of Jesuit Bend, originally settled in the early 18th century by members of the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuit Order of the Catholic Church. The Jesuit settlers brought with them from Asia the Satsuma, a loosely skinned seedless tangerine. Satsumas have been farmed at this locale ever since. This is the location of the Jesuit Bend Wetland Mitigation Bank, an effort to return open water to a fully functioning freshwater marsh to help reverse the long-standing problem of wetlands erosion in the Mississippi River Delta. As we continue south on LA-23, we're seeing all of the inhabited part of the west bank of Plaquemines Parish, which is less than a mile wide and 68 miles long. For the length of this highway, the Mississippi River is just to our left and to the right is marsh and further south open water. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the applause button if you enjoy our videos.
To the right is Bell Chase Middle School, home of the Bulldogs, with 763 students in grades 5 through 8. Bell Chase Middle School is a full inclusion school that offers an array of activities for the students to enjoy. There are approximately 18 students per class. On the left is the Phillips 66 Alliance Refinery. The refinery processes mainly light, low sulfur crude oil. Alliance receives domestic crude oil from the Gulf of Mexico by pipeline and U.S. tight oil by marine transport. The refinery can also receive foreign crude oil by pipeline connected to the Louisiana offshore oil port. The single train refinery's facilities include fluid catalytic cracking, alkylation, coking, and hydrodesulfurization units, a naphtha reformer, and aromatics units that enable it to produce a high percentage of gasoline, diesel, and aviation fuels. Other products include petrochemical feedstocks, home heating oil, and anode-grade petroleum coke. The majority of its refined products are distributed to customers in the eastern United States through major common carrier pipeline systems and by barge.
We conclude today's video here, about 51 miles from the end of the road. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 Road Trip.